Now we're doing the uh, nylon or the polyamine with the three percent is what's coming out, and it's a really neat material. Uh, needless to say, I'll, I'll show some other videos in just a little bit. It's and giggles. Here's our pelletizer machine. Um, yeah, I guess keep hands clear. <laughs> now we're making the polyamine with carbon fiber. So we put, uh, we're going to do 2%, 10% with the carbon fiber is 10% and the graphene is, two, or is uh, 1%. So we're just going to put 2 grams in here. Oops. Yeah, there we go. See, my giant bucket. And we put 10% of this. So, we'll do that. And uh, then it goes into the extruder over there. All right, so here's a bunch of different filaments that we've made so far today. Uh, this is that polyamine. The thing about this polyamine is that you can't break it. Well, I mean, you can break it, but it's like a, it's like a weird, very tough material that cannot be elongated. This is a uh, PET plastic, like what your Coke bottles are made out of, and insanely strong, and more polyamine. And these are all just different variable uh, grades. And then these are the big bags that we made for the locomotives guys over there. So, and then that's a RGO that uh, they wanted to use to test against our graphene, which so far is just nothing compared to the graphene. So. Anyway, back to this. Really, really, really neat. You know, just a really, it, it, it's almost, it's flexible, kind of like rubber. But I'll have a, another video, I'll link another video to this so that you get a, I can talk more about it and everything like that because there's a, a truck being tested on a dyno, a giant diesel truck that's got some kind of variable shape supercharger or something like that. I don't, I don't, it's kind of cool. But anyway, see it. Hi everyone, uh, there is a ton of different little scraps of filament all over the place. So now I'll have uh, stuff to test with. Let me just say that this was a lot of work. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been sick all week. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with emails and trying to keep up with everything, but I just, I've been sick and I haven't been able to produce good videos. So. Uh, I'll make some good videos pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to splice these videos that I got from what I did today at the tan deck and all that good stuff and when I made all this stuff and then we're going to also do a uh, ballistic test on on this and that'll be at an armory that a friend of mine goes to all the time. Might, might even use it on this uh, ballistic nylon. Uh, this stuff is really, really neat. Um, so we'll find out about that. Uh, because uh, bullets are fun. No, um, but that that's just kind of some of the stuff. This is actually uh, PP or uh, like polyethylene, so it's it's not it shouldn't be that great. But I already tried bending some of the stuff, and it was only like a mill, millimeter thick, and it it just said no. So uh, we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, and now I'll stop rambling and let you guys be on your way.